Come across the plank. I'm not standing on that with you. I need way more. On this, give me a break. With both of us There's on there? Set six boards. I'll stand back here. Then you what? Go. Hurry up. I can't. Walk. Cedar, I'm what? trying to show you this because this is the best. This turned out better. See? Walk. The so. I don't like this thing. <laughs> this is scary. You hear them in there? What do you hear? Good boy. That's not lunch. Was that fun? Yeah. Uh, do you think that was a very good idea? No. <laughs> okay, stand out here so Callie can spray you off. Put the sander down. Let's talk about this. Along the way, there have been a couple of monumental moments that I'll never forget. One of these moments happened about a year and a half ago after we poured the concrete foundation. In my mind, these moments represent belief. I think my wife, Cedar, wanted to believe that this was going to happen. But along the way, I can remember two significant points where something in her belief changed. She genuinely believed that it was going to happen. I recently saw this change in my wife again. A couple months ago, we went and got some baby chicks. We got some white leghorns, some brown leghorns, some barred rocks, some um, wine dots, and two of them unfortunately didn't make it. We were sad about that, but um, so we ended up with 10. And then some of our friends, um, Bruce and Mandy, ended up giving us 10 more white leghorns. So we're excited that they're finally up here and in their home, and I'm excited to have our chicken coop up here. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time so I'm glad we haven't got the fence around it yet um, so they can't roam quite yet but we want them to get used to their home and know where, where it's at. Um, we ended up putting it up this hill kind of by the solar panels. It looks like it's far away from our house but it's really not. It's only like literally like a hundred steps probably from let's see there's a the front door and then goes up there so it's really not that bad course in the spring when it's grassy and dry it's great in the snow we might have a little harder time getting up the hill but it's really not that steep of a hill and we'll make a path and put some steps up there so we can get up there but we're finally excited to have our chickens up here and can't wait for them to start laying I'm tired of buying eggs and um, so hopefully we'll get them going quick Like most good marriages, my wife is a perfect balance to me. Over the last 23 years when I've had these extreme over-the-top ideas, she's been a perfect balance to me, bringing me back to reality. When I've wanted to do things that were a little bit too far out of the norm, she would rein me in, yet still allow me to be me. When I've seen these changes take place in her and watch her actually take an interest, pull up pictures on the internet, offer suggestions, and clarify how things will be in her kitchen. It makes me proud. I think there have been moments where she wasn't sure if this was gonna happen. While she's always been my greatest champion, she's seen the ups and downs in me, and I'm certain she wondered if I was gonna get it done. As hard as I'm working on the drywall, I'm doing it for one reason. 
And that's because we both want to be proud of this. We don't want it to look like it was halfway done. Just because it's taken longer than I've expected doesn't mean it wasn't worth doing. I've taken a little bit of time away from the drywall here and there to clean up the hillside one final time before it gets too warm to have fires, but my focus has been the drywall. The upstairs is basically done. The laundry room and the bathroom won't take very long at all, and then we'll transition to the downstairs. If all goes well, everything will be hung, taped, and textured in the next week to 10 days. Right. Stand where? Come across the plank. I'm not standing on that with you. I need way more. On this, you need a break. With both of us on There's there? Seven, six boards. I'll stand back here. And you what? Go, Hurry up. I can't. Look. Cedar, I'm what? trying to show you this because this is the best. This turned out better. See? Walk. The plank? Yes. Are you filming this? Walk. <laughs> Look at this. Do you see any imperfections anywhere? That, that stuff will be gone. Okay, so I'm gonna leave. Well, no, that's you're not you're nothing in that. The stuff that's gonna stay, try to find some marks. Like this, turn around. See, see that stuff. I'm gonna leave that stuff on purpose. Like that will fix. That I don't like this. So the, the question is. What do you have issues with? What don't you have issues with? Nothing. Just, just a little <coughs> Okay, so think about this as well. I think it looks awesome. I think when you have stuff on the wall. Think, think about this. Nobody's ever going to see this. Right? Yeah, okay. So. I don't like this thing. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> now, let me show you something. Oh, I'll stay right here. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to take this out. I'll leave it up here. I guess we can clean the window, but I'm basically done with it. Okay. Looks awesome. So now look at this hole. What do you see any imperfections anywhere? Okay, stand over here. Stand right there. Is the is the paint in a magnifier? Yeah. Okay. Do you see anything? Uh -huh. Any bumps? Uh -huh. What? Sand marks? So you want that to go away? Looks fine. I think this looks way better than super thick texture. Like Skip trial, whatever. Skip. No, I, I love it, but it's there's imperfections in it. If you look real close, and I, I think I, that, I don't that doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. I just don't want it super textury. So if you look at the ceiling, is textury a word? Sure. If you look up here. Yeah, I can see more. Of but but I haven't finished that. I stopped right there because there's a tape drop right there, and I'm trying to fill that in. But if you look back this way, but look, see that? Yeah. Hey, do you see that? Yeah. Is that stuff going to bother you? Not on the ceiling, no. Um, so I guess that's the question. I have four coats on this right here. Yikes. And, but it's done, as far as I'm concerned. Always done. Is four coats normal? So, I'm... I'm Assuming that you're going to have pictures hanging on walls, right? Yeah. So, so come look here. Come look at this. Is there anything on this wall? Is that bother you? There's a tape truck right there. Is that stuff bother you? That would be kind of big compared to the else. If you fix it, there's a tape truck right there. That might, but if we're going to have pictures right here, it won't matter. I can, I can, I can kind of see well, that. I may I fix that. Back to my question, is um, paint going to magnify the imperfections? If you, um, it's not going to hide it. Eggshell white's not going to hide anything, really. It, it, I don't care about these. I don't care. So that's the stuff you have. Does it bother you? Because they're here. I, I'm going to go over that. I don't like that. I think I'm going to do something like that. Test that up. So then, so 
missile and stuff like this. Yeah, I see you say that. Say that. Or your few spots are you say Then you look at this one, this side. Um, let's take the light. Um, is there anything? See, so this, this wall turned out really good. Mm -hmm. Child, you're a child. Holy cow. That's stupid. What's wrong with you, boy? <laughs> That's not funny. Get away, son. Get back in here. Okay, so then let's look, let's look in this room one last time. They're just, yeah, that's stuff, they're little tiny imperfections that I left. Oh, so it's gonna, after I primer it, all you're gonna- Is this the door gonna open this way though? Mm -hmm. After I primer it, you're not gonna see any of that stuff. But this is Reedy's room. I love it. Is it fun to be right here? I think so. So next week- You're doing awesome, thank you. Next week we'll be cleaning. Windows, I can't paint until everything's been wiped down. Okay. And the walls I, have to be wiped down? It has to be. Okay. Uh, wet sponge gets rid of that dust that was sanding. I hit it with a broom first. But. So technically, I could paint the upstairs next week, but you don't want me to do that. You want me to wait and paint it all at the same time? Mm -hmm. I think Bro. you're smart, no? I don't know. I never do things the smart way. Yeah. I do think of the heat. I know way. you're excited, but. I'm going to bite your toes off in about two seconds. Ruger, bite him. Get him, stop, Ruger. Stop, Reed. Seriously, stop. Ruger, Come on, Ruger. Ruger, Who's bite team my are toes. You on? Bite Who's my toes. Whose team are you on anyway, Ruger? Ruger. Bye, guys. You. See you in a while. After having Cedar look at everything, just to kind of make sure that she doesn't see things that I see or to make sure that I'm not uh, obsessing over things that are just not going to matter to her. Uh, I think I'm about done. I'm gonna do one more coat on uh, a couple of little spots. I'm gonna try and work late tonight and get it finished up. One more coat on the ceiling and that's it. And I can pull all of this uh, makeshift uh, scaffolding that I put over the stairwell and I can transition into downstairs. Now, after doing all this upstairs, I'm confident that the downstairs is gonna go way faster, partly because I'm gonna stand up all the drywall sheets uh, on their end. So I should have nothing but bevel joints, which in turn means it should go way, way faster. So naturally as I'm doing it, I'm getting faster and getting better. Uh, I've worn the tips of my fingertips off and my couple spots on my hand from rubbing the drywall. There must be some sort of a silica or something in there that's wearing my hands, but I want it to be, I want it to be, uh, I want to feel good about this more than anything else. I don't care how long this takes me. Um, naturally, we are still aiming at the first, first or second week of June to have the house just about livable. Um, but the truth is that uh, uh, this drywall is taking way longer than I thought it would. But I about got it. I about got the upstairs done. I'm going to hang the laundry room, finish the uh, bathroom, and. Uh, be done with it. So anyway, um, I'm not doing any more projects outside until all of the uh, downstairs drywall is finished. So my goal is to have uh, everything hung by the end of next week and at least a first and second coat. But again, like I said, I think the downstairs is going to go way faster because it's just one big great room. But the thing about the downstairs is that's what's going to be seen. This, this area, truthfully, this area up here is you know, probably not going to be seen as much as the downstairs is as we have guests and, and family the downstairs will be seen more so i just don't want it to look shoddy i don't want it to look like it was done by a plumber and uh, i don't think it does i think it looks really good